Hi, I'm Sam Smythe from Smythe Imported Car Service, and we're doing this video. It's, it's on a Triumph TR6. We have one showing where uh, we're doing the actual, oh, uh, some rear brake flex lines. Anyway, we want to catch you up to speed on this. Um, we're going to walk around. It's on our lift, one of our older ones, one of the oldie but goodies, except uh, it always has the center all covered up. But um, you can see our brake work. Uh, that's original caliper rebuilt, you know, got the G for girling on there and uh, You know rotors wheel bearings packed with uh, water resistant 22,000 pound RV grease uh, Nothing's too good for our customers a little bit more money, but really good top-of-line stuff anyway, um, as everyone knows uh, The uh, these cars have canister oil filters and they're on the driver's side sitting behind the seat left hand side and they're up under the block here, I'll try and show you here that we've got a fuel line down. Um, we've actually rebuilt this engine and transmission in the car, and we're going over all these things. So um, you can see somebody was real keen. They used a hole saw to go right through here. You can see it's been done a while ago, um, where they could get their bar in to actually get to the canister on this. These are really hard because you have a lip. I'm going to show you on a piece of paper here, the adapter and what we're using here. Um, do me a favor. Here's that. Oh, here's an MG engine we're rebuilding. You get an idea of our, you can see our, our, some of our work here. Look at that. This one's 020 over. You can tell by the 020. So anyway, with that being said, uh, we do all sorts of type of work. But um, let's get back to the 76 TR6. It's got a canister, and I'm going to show you the actual real canister. Here it is. Um, now this canister, can you can you hold this for me? Come around and let, hold that right there for me. This one. Okay, thanks. This canister has this little lip right here, and that little lip sits in a groove, and you got to get it just right. And anybody that's changed the oil knows that if you don't get this just right, and it has spring pressure. If you look. You can see the filter actually sticks up past it, you know. So, um, if you, so, you got to hold it and hold it right, and then tighten it up. And if you do it wrong, you'll fire the car up, or you crank the car, and you'll see a puddle of oil directly underneath the left front side. And you want to check when you have these canisters; they're really, really hard to fit and do just right. So anyway, um, they make a conversion. It's a, a adapter kit. Uh, spin on oil filter and we're going to show you a picture of it. It's right here. Here's the kit numbers. This is through Moss um, And we're a distributor with Moss so um, parts for all these Triumph cars, but it says TR250 TR6 um, We used to sell Triumphs brand new back in the 50s and uh, late 60s then um, when dad retired he gave the franchise to uh, uh, Tom Sweeney, that's Jake, one of Jake Sweeney's either cousins or brothers. I'm not sure how that would roll on that. But anyway, here's that canister I just showed you. And it shows you all the pieces. And that, and then they give you this little, little, tiny, fine, fine, fine piece. Well, you're going to have to use that anyway. Let me show you a picture of this new, new adapter. And, and this is going to go on the side where the oil filter went. And we're gonna go on and we're gonna go on like that and you and you can adjust it So to give you an idea you can see the threads there now. So now you can use a regular spin-on oil filter So once this is secured correctly on the car um, You know you cranked it around checked it for oil pressure. There's no leaks uh, You know started the car ran it. it's all dry and clean around this outer edge We actually they actually give you two gaskets this bigger one uh, which is thicker and then a smaller one and you insert it in this block assembly so anyway um, <clears throat> you'll be all set to go the bolt and everything's in here and it already has a brass washer and the whole works so this is a much better and it's not very expensive to be honest with you so it's something that you might want to take a look at um, on it um, because it's really really nice this is a big chunk of aluminum so you got something really nice going on here, kind of like an oil pan. Um, so anyway, like I said, I'm Sam Smythe from Smythe and Ports, and this is from Moss Motors, these, uh, these parts. Um, I forgot to put this on airplane mode, so we may get interrupted. But anyway, these are the gaskets. And we're going to fit this on this 76 Triumph TR6 that we've done the engine and the gearbox on. 
So, um, and then we're just going around and doing all the other things like stabilizer bar links, anything obvious, things we have to do. So, um, with that all being said, if you need any uh, TR6 service or information, any help or anything like that, please feel free to give us a call. We're located in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, we've been in the same area location in Sims Township uh, since the early 70s. And it's uh, Sam Smythe. It's like Smith, but you put a Y where the I is. And it's Sam Smythe and Porter Car Service Incorporated. Um, you can look up some old articles too, and you'll be able to find at 3850 Montgomery Road that actually we were the Triumph dealer. So, um, uh, you know, when it comes to the older vintage cars and to the end, end run, uh, we took care of those, but um, got out in, the, like I said, I think it was the early 70s or late 69. Anyway, um, I'm Sam Smythe, uh, the second. So um, my father had run that dealership and as a young lad, I used to go there. Anyway, so keep us in mind if you need our help. You can find us on the web at www.smythimports.com. Um, we also have a mobile site, but you have to spell the word out, mobile.smythimports.com. Uh, It'll come up on your phone, great. But if you go to the main site and you go to the gallery page and you see a TR6, kick, hit, put your click button on it, hit it, and it'll open up and it'll show you like us rebuilding engines on TR6s and, and that sort of thing. There's uh, uh, restoring the cars. There's a couple yellow ones. One year we had two yellow cars. And if you look real close, you'll be able to see each one's different, but you got to look real close. And uh, anyway, it's kind of fun. And then check us out on YouTube. Um, we're trying to get as many subscribers as we can there. Uh, they like to have, you know, at least a thousand subscribers before you're even recognized or whatever is what I'm told. Um, but whatever, we're just, anything we can do to help somebody, we'll be happy to help or put a video up that we think might be keen, uh, you know, more for ownership than really like, Oh, Sam, what do I do? Let's go to his video and it'll show me step by step. We're not really kind of doing it that way. But, um, it, you know, if it, it, they are kind of neat to look at some of these pictures. So anyway, that's it. Um, my telephone number here is 513-793-0434. Feel free to call us after hours too if you get into any situation you need a question answered as well. Um, and once again, this 76 uh, TR6, we did the engine rebuild transmission and we're going through the cooling system braking system suspension system and but right now we're going to do this hub change oh and there also is a braided stainless steel line that takes the oil and brings it up through the back of the cylinder head that creates more oil to get to the rocker shafts which keeps the rocker shaft in better shape and the rockers so that might be something you might be interested in and in, in looking at as well if you're uh, gonna if even if your engine doesn't need rebuilt, if you'd like to preserve, make things easier on yourself, that sort of thing, those would be some really good retrofits that we would recommend for you. Um, so other than that, that's it. I wish everyone all the best in the year 2018. Uh, this is January, so uh, take care. And uh, if you need any help, please come see us. Thank you.